Knock, knock. Who's there? Radio. Radio who? Radio not. Here we come with this Radio week not. at First Press. Here we Baterian come. Church. This is all of the happenings that are coming up in oh. the next uh, couple weeks, six weeks. That beyond. was a knock-knock joke submitted by you, the viewers. We also have another one that was submitted to us that was good as well. We're going to save it. Are We're we? going to save that all one right, for cool. another time. That's what I'm talking about. Well, we've got a ton of... Of stuff to cover. We so, got a two pager. We're jumping in here. Uh, coming up like in a two days, no, three days, four three days, days, whatever it is. Whoa. It's Saturday. Saturday. Coming up on Saturday, February 9th. We have the Guatemala dinner. We've been talking a lot about it. So if you want to hear about the trip, hear about the partnership, get some Guatemalan cuisine, be there, sign up uh, in Fellowship Hall. Well, actually, you nope. can't because you can only sign up online now. Uh, <laughs> Be there Saturday, sign up online, under the sign-up Reporting the trip, Boom. talking about what happened, getting involved, figuring it out for next year. Yes, they Boom. have all the info. Do it. Also coming up the next day, which Fallen. is Febu February 10th. Appreciate it. After the 1042 service yes. at 1145, there's a prayer event in the chapel. Eric, you've been working on this a lot. Tell us a little bit about the prayer event. About the prayer event. Uh, yes, as you may have heard, we did a lot of prayer events uh, kicking off our 1042 service. Some of us in the church got together and were like, hey, Why'd you look what at if we like did... Some of us in the church. Oh, well, <laughs> not Cole. But no, uh, some of us like to pray. And uh, <laughs> apparently not Cole. But anyway, no. Um, why not pray for all the ministry areas? At First Press, so that's what we're doing uh, coming up February 10th, this Sunday. It's going to be service. great. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. In the chapel. So, this one I'm pretty excited about. Um, it's sponsored by the Bucket School, but it's for the Library Laundromat League. I'll tell you about that in a second, but what they're looking for is they're doing a board book drive. So, board books are like the thick cardboard books that you can give to children. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and so, they have a bin on the stage in Fellowship Hall. All throughout the month of February, we're asking church members to bring in board books to donate, new, gently used, whatever um, books, drop them in there, and they're going to deliver them. The Library Laundromat League takes these books, and they put them in different laundromats throughout Westchester and the surrounding area, and the goal of that is that when families come in to do their wash in those areas, kids who don't may not have uh, board books or books at home to read, they can take them from the, li or the laundromat and bring them back home. So it's a way to get books and to help kids start reading and those sorts of things. It's a way to get it into the household. Yes, I love it. I think it's super cool. Board book drive all February. Fellowship Hall. Yep. There's a little bin. There's you a can bin uh, push some books. Hall. Board books. Let's do it. Uh, this is kind of a first save the date. So the weekend with the arts is coming up March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. There's all kinds of stuff. There's going to be an art show all three of those days. There's going to be other kinds of programs. There's live music on Friday. That's correct. Uh, wrapping up with the Philadelphia Brass Concert, also featuring the one and only Chancel Choir from uh, First Presbyterian Church. So... That will be uh, that Sunday, March 3rd at 3 o'clock. So save the date for the weekend with the arts. I almost said the next one, but we have to do the first one. Do the one before that. Uh, race reboot. Women's Bible Study yes. going to be starting up March 6th. It is on the Gospel of Mark. It's Correct. a seven-week series. Um, it'll be Wednesdays from 6.15 to 7.30, and you can register for that online by going to firstpersonwc.com, going to the sign-ups tab, drop down where it says Women's Bible Study. You can sign up there so you can get a book and get it ready and start reading ahead like a good student. That's what I'm talking about. Studying the gospel of Mark. Mark. Loving it. Um, after that, so that is March, what am I saying? That's March 6th, but <laughs> it's shortly after that, we have Lent, Lent begins. coming up, and so we are doing sign-ups right now to host Lent dinners. So those are back. Those are happening again. If you would like to host Lent dinners, so groups of people from the church that can sign up and come into your home or to a restaurant or to a nice picnic in the park or whatever picnic the location. Picnic in the park, pastor approved. Um, if you want to host one, you can sign up. Details in Fellowship Hall. 
And you can uh, sign up sign up on our website under the sign-ups tab and do all of these things. So, right to nurse. Another save the date. Men's Retreat is going to be happening Ooh. again this year. It's going to be March 30th. It's a one-day retreat here at First Presbyterian Church from 8.30 to 1 p.m. More details to come on that, but if you are a dude and want to come out to a men's retreat... Uh, save the date of March 30th. Yes, yes, yes. Moving right along. April 11th, we have a pretty cool opportunity to uh, to be a part of something awesome. So Temple Grandin is going to be giving a presentation called Animals and Autism. Uh, Dr. Grandin is a professor, a uh, farm consultant and an autism spokesperson, um, and she's one of the first people uh, to have autism or to be on the autism spectrum and to share about what that experience is like. But anyway, that event is going to be live streamed here at First Press, so we are going to be a live stream location. You can show up um, to watch that presentation again. That's Animals and Autism on April 11th. It is totally free, but you totally do have free. to register. Yes. How can you register, Cole? You can register by going to firstpresswc.com, going to the sign-ups tab, clicking Temple Grand and Event or something like that. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, gosh. We... We're closing in. We're closing this in. This the last thing on our list. These two are... This one's a kind of a long-distance save the date, but we want yes. it on your radar because it's coming up and it's awesome. It is VBS. So VBS is obviously happening again this year. <laughs> That's uh, correct. It's the... Theme of it is to Mars and beyond. Mars to being the planet. Uh, <clears throat> so again, the dates of that we've I think mentioned it either in the newsletter or on here before. It's June twenty third through the twenty seventh in the evening. Mm. Um, again, the curriculum is to Mars and beyond. And if you are interested in getting in the in on the ground floor of pre preparation or volunteering and things like that, um, you can let Sarah Pantazis know. Uh, you can go back to the email. Remember, we talked about this before. You go back to the email. The video is at the top, but you can scroll down, and there's, like, written stuff. Um, <clears throat> if you go back there, we'll have a button for Sarah's email. Um, so you can sign up with her to kind of help her get prepared ahead of time and then volunteer. One of, yes. Yeah, one of the opportunities that we have to get prepared for this is... is to get in the zone. Yeah, this is cool. This is uh, coming up March 8th. Mm -hmm. There is a planetarium family field trip. So we, Ooh. as a church, are headed over to Westchester University to check out uh, their planetarium uh, and to discover and see the wonders of the universe, all that God has made. Um, yes, reservations are required for this planetarium trip. So if you think it'd be a, a great idea to go there, again, that's March 8th. Uh, reservations are required. Contact Sarah Pantazis again in her email in the email below. Scroll. Do the thing. Cole, we did it all. Hopefully that was That's under it. 